and a very warm welcome to Moscow. Grand Slam 2011, Italy versus the USA here in the second semi-final of the day. And the prize for the winner will be to join Brazil in the final of this Moscow Grand Slam 2011. We're watching live coverage of the FIBB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour. The crowd have been pouring in in their numbers and the weather really playing up to it too. So it's uh, well over 30 degrees here today. Really, really warm. The warmest day of the week. The temperatures have been building up ever since we got going with country quota on Monday. A bit of wind swirling about. Not influencing the players too much, though. And we're all ready for the presentations of these players representing their country. Each of the top four seeds are through into the final. China falling at the first hurdle and the semis. The USA and Italy battling it out. After, uh, the Italians got the better on their uh, opponents last week in start. Time to welcome the referees. Catriona Tweedy is in charge from Australia. And Irina Agazaeva of Russia is the second referee today. Time to introduce Italy playing in the blue. Very right, number one, 20 year old and very, very talented indeed, Marta Menegatti. case they've only dropped one set Italy also had to play one set just once against them start from the state to side out
Hogan who's going to get a few more Dodge off the block of Terry Walsh. No arguments from the American side of that. Chikolari and Menegasi have played at this tournament. Really have had a wonderful start of the season. He made that. Bump high towards uh, Menegasi. Almost finished it sublimely. When he was something on with attack, it was credit to the excellent defensive ability of Misty May for getting there in the first place. No, she couldn't keep it in. Finally, even things up then. 4 4. Walsh is there. He's going to roll and roll back towards the Americans. Oh, it's a wait and see job. Italy in front here for the first time. Chicolari continues to serve. Top serve, too. Down to the right, diving Kerry Walsh. No control. It's the first time they've played this tournament. Only the second match between the two teams. Chipolari Menegati winners in Star last week. Over, over. Yeah. That occasion, three sets are required. It's the third round of the winner's bracket. Quarterfinals, another turn. First set went in favour of the Italians, 21-19. The same score in the second for the Americans. Oh. Well, the Olympic champions closed it out 15-11 in the final set. Marta Minagatti. Again, carrying off the target. Fear yeah. tactic emerging. Kerry getting rather angry with herself there, making the unnecessary error. Menegati floats serves down the line. This time there's a change in tactic. It's Misty May. Either side able to muster up a chance to have a swing yet. Here we go with Menegatti getting the first opportunity. What? Carries there. And Kerry Walsh finishes it off for the United States. Menegatti knows she had a good opportunity there. Continuing their tactic of serving to Chikolai. Walsh looking for the pass. Uh, the Italians uh, attempted to go over it too. Walsh was wise to it. Hanging high. Blocking. And the US cut the arrears from three to one. Brilliant reaching. Visible disappointment too on the face of uh, Marta Menegasi. Danny is just being told to hurry up by the referee. Matches on this centre court running a little late today as Menegatti looks to hit, but the full force of her swing through the ball. That's the cleanest one she's hit in this match so far. Nice rise through the gate of Kerry Walsh. Not often that happens. Just about pulled out. Voice of Cashier and Tweedy. Referee clearly out. To get things moving. Chikolada gets the message. You're on your own. Say Sola. She was unable to finish it in the first attempt. But it made sure that there was a reverse pass coming from deep, deep in the court from Misty May. Always difficult to get right. Nicolani there, finish it off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
over the full ball from Miniganti. His teammate reacts. Kipalani doesn't. to serve post technical timeout here set one all to play for nice and tight the one point in it as Italy side out to take it the lead to two they've come on so well working with their coach uh, Lisandro from Brazil really improved at the end of last season at the start of this Chicolari's had her injury problems Benigatti playing with uh, Valeria Rosso on occasions close to the net for Italy, but it's that diving behind her. <laughs> and then she follows it up with a block. The USA turning up for this match now. I mean, they will be desperate to win here. Beaten in their first encounter with the Italians last week in the Swiss mountains. Pilati with the bump up. Minigasti looks to hit on the angle. His teammate. Jousting with Ciccolati has to be passed long. Buys the Italians a bit of time. Cross, cross, cross! And nothing wrong with that from Misty Mado. Time out from Italy. No wonder they've taken it. So the dynamic of the match changing very, very quickly indeed. Only moments ago, Italy signing out. Take a two point lead. Yeah, the States turning that back. Along with Chicolari needing a plan of attraction. Time that over then. Stimate. Forcing the error. 
In the end, it's a recovery, all thanks to the awareness of Greta Cicolari at the net. Reception from Menegatti put the Italians in trouble there. Big side out for them. The Americans to be comfortable to move through the gears and put more pressure on. Menegatti defends well. High bump set. He may passing long. Here we go with Chicolari. Again, it's long. Italian slaving a poor touch. Italians wanted carrying there. Referee not having any of it. You could hear the appeals midway through the rally. That's good as really judging it as perfect and eagle from this teammate. Hard driven ball, remember, is the rule. Certainly looked to be driven hard enough. 15-13 then. Walsh and May. For Menegatti. What? This time they do give it. No, no, sorry. I was late, but for me, it hit your hands and your fingers at the same time. Yep. No fingers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Italy. There goes Menegatti. Again, the breeze taking that ball close to the net. In the end, no worries there for the Americans who side out for that two-point advantage again. Nice roll down the line. Ciccolani having no chance. Hey, Come for Ciccolani to hit. Walsh is there in the block. States controlling things here. Italy. Ah, uh, Arani. Oh, Arani. Italy, yellow card. Yeah. Just being told to hurry up. Not for the first time in this match. But to all four ladies, please be quiet and let me referee. There you go, there's a message. Too much interfering from the players. The referee's decision will be made by himself. No decision needs to be made there. Quite clearly beyond the line. Italy will have to start thinking about the second set here. The first looking more or less lost. A bit of momentum just to make sure they stop the second well. America, as he suggested, just moving through the gears. Pressure being piled on point by point. Italy really need to show some sort of character here. Nicolai takes down. Bump set it from Menegaski. Goes long, but it was read exceptionally well by the Americans. Misty May on the line. A mile, mile, they're piling on the points now. Italy, remember, will he take the time out here? Set point for the Americans. It has been a performance that's gathered momentum throughout this first set. Menegatti. Chicolari needs to pass. Oh, that's cleverly done. Very cleverly done indeed. What a way to save the first set point. A nice and cool from Greta Chicolari. Only problem for her is that she has to do five more of those. Americans only need a side out to take a set lead here. Here's the opportunity. Misty May, cut shot. In the end, playing it with the knuckles, just killing the ball. 21-15, more than comfortable for the Americans. Walsh and May ahead in the semi-final. And as it stands, on their way to meet Juliana Larissa for the gold medal here in Moscow. 21-15 the score. And they got in Chicolari with all the work to do.
Olympic championship winning team though. Ciccolari and Meneghanti delighted to get to the final four. Remember, their seed has gradually risen over the last few weeks. Disappointed with a ninth place at home at the World Championships in Rome. Of course, the third seeding for this event. Well, last week as well. The Moscow skyline is the backdrop for this uh, wonderfully entertaining tournament. So return to Santa Court for the commencement of set two.
Italians, they just about keep it in. Walsh is there, fails with her attack. Totally wrong footed on the takeoff, Milagasi. That's an opportunity at various times during the rally missed for both sides. In the end, it's the States who profit. First of all, from that bit of error. Milagasi did well to rescue it in the end. The quick pause from Marta Menegatti has his son time out. Covered in stand. Referee asking it to be quicker. Be ready to go. Yep. Five. Ready to go. The message from the referee. Need to be ready to go here. Even with a slight advantage, and they slide out for a two-point lead at the moment. Walsh though with a chance to put an end to that. Chicolati keeps it in, but that is a gift. A gift that is swatted home with great pleasure, no doubt, from Terry Walsh. Seven points apiece. Size change sees the United States on the left. Walsh down the line towards Menegatti. Nicolani's up there. Into the net. And now it's all about showing character again from Italy. Trying to take a timeout. And they know how dangerous the United States were once they got a little lead in that first set, then really pushed on home. The team from Southern Europe, keen for that not to happen again. They look fairly happy though. They and Walsh. Uh, from New Zealand, that's very, very warm out there. The bigger the head. Menegatti. Down on the floor. 
there's a set. And a nice little cut just forces the ball beyond Kerry Walsh. Italy sit down at the technical timeout with a slender lead. Remember, they are a set down there in the semi final. All the pressure and onus is upon the Europeans. Very communicative, very vocal. Final four business is all relatively new for them. Made final four in Sanya a couple of years ago. That season struggled though. No doubt about the talent in particular that Marta Menegatti has at just 20 years of age. Find the right partnerships throughout her career. She can have a real longevity. She's one of the stars of the game without doubt. State's point. He Ciccolati look around. First for the ball, then for a partner. Well, she might have done a job once she got the contact. That is out. Try it out all the way. get there. Ciccolati can't finish it. Walsh has turned now. She swings. Ciccolati did get the block. Combination of the wind and the net. Forcing it back towards the United States. Perhaps a little lucky to get away with the point there. Excellent diving dig from uh, Marta Menegassi in the meantime. And the disappointment on the face of Ciccolati. playing cross court. Walsh not blocking correctly the line. Decent serve from Menegati. They may work for it. After having done that defense and work, the attack is carried out with consummate ease. That's good again. A second nice little roll down the line from Menegatti we've seen in the last couple of moments. Imagine the United States to be fairly confident here. Gets the scores still at 14 apiece. Marta looking a little tired though, originally. Started to assert their authority. Walsh. And Agassi makes the defense. Chance for Kerry to finish off again. She wanted that swing. She wanted that spike. The last couple of points really taking control. She might be looking tired, but Agassi is also defending well. No chance for uh, just about anybody on tour there, though. Such is the ferocity of the spike. was the call. She went unable to win the point. That is wonderfully taking down that. Needs to be a long pass. And for Italy to set up the swing for Menegatti. Down the line, there's a touch from Walsh. Italy has the side out. 
This is a traditional beach volleyball here. Some wonderfully entertaining rallies. All the heat and difficulty around is taking a toll physically on the players. Nice little cut. Nice little cut. has been called for here. He said that Marta is looking a little tired. She's very upset. He said and talked about the heat. Being forced to work. Medical timeout called for. Greta Cicola is asking for the doctor. Marta Medagatti. She's struggling for a bit of breath. So the doctor's been called for. This is the scene here in Moscow at Centre Court. You're watching live coverage uh, of the uh, FIVB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour. Moscow Grand Slam 2011. Just tuning in, wondering where the action is. I'm afraid we just uh, began a medical timeout. It's time for the dancers to come and entertain. This crowd who have uh, turned up in their numbers. Enjoying the uh, wonderfully sunny weather. I'm afraid to say that Marta Menegassi, the Italian defender, isn't enjoying it too much. There she is. Trying to cool down. She's been forced to work exceptionally hard by this American team. Gary Walsh and Misty May really hitting the form. The Italians also playing a good game here. In the meantime, Ross Menegetti and Ciccolari take the time out for uh, May and Walsh. It's all about trying to stay focused. Hydration, trying to regulate body temperature is the important thing. Chicolari just asking how she was. I can say there are two minutes left for the medical timeout. I think uh, Marta just saying yes, I can continue. Which is uh, good news. In the meantime, we'll show you some of Moscow. And this of you just down the road. On the main road down into Red Square, world famous Gremlin. You can see it's a busy old drag. 
the main route that goes uh, through this uh, wonderfully iconic city. And that's good to see. that was beginning to build. Okay. Misty May will serve then. Left to right. Quickly. United States, if you're just joining us, a set up and 16-15 up here. Stretch. 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 Walsh with solid defense. Her chance to try and spike. Gets the luck of the draw with a bounce off the net. The stage to two points up now. Italy suddenly have a lot of work to do here just to stay alive in this match. What a time to open up a lead. Takes only four points of victory as Ciccolari looks to spike. Have another chance to work something out. Here they go over in two. Kenny Walsh is wise again. Hovering so menacingly above that net. Walsh, there's the spike and well. Why am I, is this mirror mirroring part in the first set or what? If there's uh, some magic accelerator press, the state's know when to press it right at the end of the set, really pressing home that advantage. That's a big confidence boost to there for Marta Menegati. Nice swing on the angle. State's lead though is still three. And Italy needs something rather miraculous here. States not getting off to the greatest of starts. Italy racing ahead in set one. That's before they were quickly pulled back though. And as the set came to close, the United States piling on the pressure. Point after point after point. Italian challenge crumbling fairly quickly there. Managed to refine their feet in set two though. Harry Walsh close to making those important blocks. Menegati showing power in both attack and defense. So that's how the semi finals finished. We'll move on to the men's draw in a moment. Join us again for the women's bronze and gold match. 
practice later on this afternoon. We won't leave you, though, with the news here in the Moscow Grand Slam. The USA have defeated Italy in the women's semi final to make it a USA Brazil final. Join us again later on here in Moscow for the Grand Slam. You've been watching the FIBB Beach Volleyball Watch World Tour.